Hey, what is up my fellow jewelers? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're learning how to make a loop on a bead and not just one loop on a bead, but we're also going to go two loops on a bead. Ooh, exciting. That's right, I use this technique all the time. I use it in a lot of my videos and some of you have said, hey, how do you make a loop? I'm having problems. Well, it is hard at times and you will struggle, but if you keep practicing and you keep doing it, you're gonna do great. I know, I believe in you. So. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell to get notifications because I'm all about the how-tos of jewelry making, whether basics, uh, jewelry making 101, or just making really pretty jewelry. All right, so you and me, let's get started making loops. All right, my fellow jewelers, we are making loops. Now, one of the most important things about making your loops is having the tools. You need a cutter tool. You need maybe a long nose pliers, but you for sure need a round nose pliers. This is so important. And so the first um, one we're gonna make is a bead with one loop on it. So you're gonna grab your head pin, and then you're gonna grab your bead and you're gonna put the bead all the way down the head pin, all the way. And then you're gonna grab your cutter tools and we're gonna make a medium sized loop. And so we're gonna be cutting off the majority of the wire. We're cut off the majority and see um, whatever size loop you're making, that's how much wire you need. So if I'm gonna make a bigger loop, I need a bit more wire, but this is a medium sized loop. So I have about that much wire. And then I'm gonna grab my round nose pliers. Now, if you notice the round nose pliers, it goes from small to big. That's because it helps you with the size loop you're making. So the small end is helping make small loops. The, the middle is helping you make medium sized loops and the big is helping you make big loops and then all, all the way in between, uh, everywhere in between, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we are going to grab the wire and we're gonna bend it back at a 90 degree. We're gonna bend it back. So do you see what I did? We're, we bent the wire 90 degree. Now we're gonna grab it. It's about a medium sized loop to a small loop. So I'm putting my wire right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold tight and we are going to start curling it in and see how it's been curled in. Well, now I'm going to bring my uh, pliers back a little bit more and we're gonna curl it again until we have our loop. And so, oh, do you see that? Do you see that fellow jeweler? I'm gonna put it right here. And we have our loop. So our tools are so important. Now what you would need your long nose pliers for is if the loop is not closed up, if your loop's not closed up, use your long nose pliers and kind of squish it because you need your loop closed. If it's not closed, then it's gonna fall off um, whatever jewelry piece you're making. You need closed loops. Closed loops are super important. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. Now we're gonna make the harder of the two, which is doing two loops. So I'm gonna grab my head pin, I'm gonna grab my bead, and I'm gonna put my bead on. But I'm actually gonna put it on until um, how much wire I want for one loop. So do you see how I'm holding my bead? With my pointer finger, with my thumb, I am holding the bead in place. But with my middle finger and with my thumb, I am holding the wire so it doesn't move, okay? And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna bend it back where I want at a 90 degree angle. So I'm making about a small, medium sized loop, okay? And now we are going to take it and I'm gonna put the bead and I'm gonna curl it around, curl it around, curl it around. Yes, and I have one loop, okay? And then we're going to go on the other side and I am holding the bead down um, so it is touching the loop. I'm holding it with my pointer and my middle finger, and then I'm gonna put my thumb and squeeze them together just like that. And now I'm gonna cut off the excess wire that I don't need, making a small, medium-sized loop. Probably, preferably the same size, but if you're just beginning, don't worry about the sizes of your loop and if they're the exact same, okay? And now again, I'm going to bend my wire back at a 90 degree angle, and I am going to grab it between um, in, the, in the round nose pliers, and I'm gonna start curling it. And I'm gonna bring it back and curl it some more, bring it back, curl it some more until I have two loops, yes. So do you see I have a loop on that side, loop on that side? And then what I can do is I can use my long nose pliers and I can kind of um, bend my loop back so it's straight because sometimes it gets crooked and, it, and the loop is more to one side than the other. Well, I like to use my long nose pliers and I like to kind of straighten things out and make sure that the loops are closed up. So fellow jewelers, there you have your one loop and your two loop. Well, well, what'd you think? What'd you think? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, I see some of you discouraged, and that is okay, because when I first started making loops, mine were jaggedy and awful, and it took me forever to make them, but the more I did it, the more I practiced, the better my loops got, and you are gonna do great. And some of you are like, oh, I got this, girl. Like, give me the next technique, let's go. But some of you are like, oh my gosh, this is so hard, and that's okay. When it's hard, you just keep going, you keep pushing, because you can do it. Yes, you can. So thank you so much for tuning in and learning how to make loops. Make sure you check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest for my jewelry creations that I do on my channel as well as on my off time. And that's about all I have for you guys today. So thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!